week that Australian students are falling behind in international maths and science rankings was described by many as a wake-up call. But one Australian start-up company believes it has a winning formula to turn those numbers around. A Japanese rocket prepares to launch with some precious Australian cargo on board. It's one minute to lift off. It's carrying 100 science, technology, engineering and maths experiments from Australian high school students. Lift off. SRPA ignition and lift off. At 2am the rocket blasted from Japan into orbit, bound for the International Space Station, where astronauts from NASA will put the experiments to the test. How do we get young Australians excited about science and technology? I can't think of anything more exciting than a space mission. <laughs> so that's the idea behind it. Australian startup company CubeRider worked with more than a thousand students from 60 schools to come up with a range of hypotheses to test. I was so excited to get the chance to work on something like this and for the first couple of weeks it was kind of, it didn't really feel real if that makes sense, like thinking that something I'm working on will actually be set up to space. It's just like something that I'd never dreamt I would be doing, especially this early in my life and um, I think it's going to set me up for a lot of good things in the future. A future where science, technology, engineering and math skills will be in high demand. CubeRider hopes space missions like this one will entice more young people to forge careers in those fields. Very interesting for me as well as the group. And all of us collaborating together was a very enjoyable experience. And a unique one that's taken learning not only out of the classroom, but out of this world. Mazoe Ford, ABC News. And that's the news for now.